in this video i'm going to show you how to use ads Terra ads on your blogger website personally i've been using ads Terra for a while and i've gotten a few pairs as you can see here so now i'm also going to show you how you can do this on your own blog and start earning some money from ads Terra ads so getting started we will begin from creating an ads Terra account then we shall proceed from that so I open up my browser and I need an email address so that's why I'm opening up the email tab then this new tab I'm just going to search ads Terra like that then click on the first link now we are going to sign up but signing up will sign up as a publisher you can either sign up as an advertiser if you have ads that you want to run but now we are going to sign up as a publisher so that we can monetize our website So this is it, enter our email address. So copy my email address. There. Then the login, this is like a username. You can choose any username you want. So I'm going to choose this as my username. Then the messenger you use an instant messenger maybe i like to use telegram so that is it then my telegram username is at if awesome so that is it payment method select any payment method that is convenient to you i like to receive ad sale payments by bitcoin but you can choose any of these that is convenient to you select i have accepted I will have read and accepted the terms and conditions so if you want to read them you can just click on the links and read through so enter your full name here then create a password that is it now click sign up I do not want to save this password so now we have to verify our email address click on confirm email from your email inbox verification is now confirmed wait a few seconds for this page to reload now you have to log in with the email account you have created This is the ad star dashboard now the first thing we do is to add our website so click on add website then here enter the domain name of your website we have a blogger blog that we created together on this channel if you are just new here consider subscribing and also look through the blogger tutorial there's a course, a full course about Blogger that you can benefit from if you are using Blogger as a dashboard. So I will just copy this URL without the HTTP. And now I go to here and paste it. Remove the HTTP. And in case you have this slash, remove it too. Now select the website category. This mine is take best so we don't have the take here so I will just click on other now choose which ads that you don't want to show on your site 
I don't want erotic ads. If you don't want gambling ads to show on your site, just select this. But all the rest, I'm okay with them. Now we have to create. Uh, before we do that, let's just first add the website. So you see your website has been sent for approval. We send you an email when it is done. This typically takes just a few minutes. So I'm going to pause the video and then resume it once I get an email confirming it. Just got the email. It took about three minutes. Here yeah, they say that your domains were approved. So now we need to create the ad units, then we add the code to our website and start showing the ads so we can make some money. So now we get back to the dashboard. Oh, where is it? Here, okay. We refresh the page. Yeah, and now what you do, you click on add, add unit, like that. I will choose a pop under add first. We are going to create maybe four of them. So the first unit is going to be an, a pop under. Then click add. Got it. Now click on. Just need to add one more. By the way, add still add units when you create an add unit, you first wait for it to be approved. So I'm going to wait again. They will send me an email. Approved. So now we refresh the page and add one more. So I'm going to click add unit once again. And now we are going to create a banner, which is this one, which is 300 pixels wide and 250 pixels tall. That is what we shall use for, okay, to put banners on our site. Then we we'll create once one more, one more native banner. Then we'll also create a social bar. I'll show you how they all look like. Yeah, so let's click add. Okay, got it. And do the same thing, wait again. But while we wait, maybe this time we can get code and we first implement our pop under on our site. So click on get code, then copy this. Once copied, now go to your blogger dashboard, go to theme, you customize, then edit HTML it is only the pop under ad and the social bar that are required to be in the theme in the body of the theme the rest of the ads you can just use blogger gadgets to add them so what I'm going to do now is to actually click on click anywhere in this code then press ctrl F on my keyboard so that I can have access to this search bar. Then I'm going to go to the body of my website. So I put that right angle bracket, then type body. Then press enter. That takes me directly to the body tag. So right down here, before this theme options, I'll put some space. Then I'm going to paste that code. So that should put the pop under ads on my site. Then click save, save this theme. Update is successful. Now I go to the blog, refresh it. And now we have our pop under ads. The way they work is when a user wants to open like this link, they will first see an ad and then they can come back and 
proceed to where they were going so the first thing will be an ad then now this link is clickable see it so see like that so that is how pop and ads work they are like on click so anytime the person clicks on the on a link on the website the first time the first thing that loads is a pop and ad so that's all about the pop and ads now let's go to the next ad type So for simplicity, I'm going to first remove this pop and add. Can just make it a comment. Just like that. Now go back to I see my email. And the other ad add unit was approved, which is the banner ad. So now if I refresh this. I can see that this was approved. It is now active. The banner is active. So I'm going to add the social bar. Then click add. You got it. And as the social bar is being approved, I'm going to implement the banner. This banner. So click on get code. Then click on copy code to add a banner I want to place the banner on top around here there is a gadget to put that banner so that's why I'm going to put the banner so I go to copy this code so go to layout and at the top of my template here there's a header ad widget. If yours doesn't have a header, a header ad widget, you can simply add an HTML stroke JavaScript widget gadget, and that should work. For example, let's say here I didn't have this. There would be something like add a gadget. Anywhere you want to place it, you can place it. So click on when you click on add a gadget, then you can put HTML slash JavaScript, and that will work fine. So I'm going to just turn this on and then and just give this a name. Then there's some code here, so I'll remove it and then I will paste that exact code that I copied from Adstella and click save. Now if I refresh this website, you should see the ad up there. Okay, that's the ad. Now let's see if our social but is uh is approved yet it's not yet okay social bar is approved so click on get code and copy it and as i told you earlier the social bar also is implemented using the edit html option on the theme so we we'll do the same click anywhere in the code press ctrl f and search for body the opening body tag press enter I'm just going to put it here and click save Once the update is successful, now I can reload the page. Okay, and this this is the social bar. Social bars are uh, look like this. They just they add that pop up when a user loads a page. If this was on mobile, we would see something like this. See to just appear here and the user can dismiss it by clicking that and continuing doing the thing that they want to do on your site on every page the social bar will load i'm loading a new page actually to show you how the social bar will look like as the user scrolls and reads through the articles 
social bar should appear like that they, they can dismiss it by clicking on the x up here or they can click on the add if they are interested in it now we are going to get some more banner and we'll place it maybe around here so i'm going to click add then this time i'll create a native banner native banner is like a square with equal width and equal height then we can place it anywhere on our site so click on native banner click add And then still we'll do the waiting. Our native banner is now approved, so get the code. Copy. Either you can choose the size you want. You can choose it to be one to one, one to two will be like that. So you choose you want to place it in the page body and then you can just see if you want them horizontal you can use the native banner to display three ads at the bottom of the screen okay that is it color the color you can choose the color of your ad but i just choose inherit when it is on inherit mode it will just match the style of your website automatically so let's copy the code i'll just be using the one to one copy the code go back here then we got the layout and I'm going to place this ad below take news down here so what I will do under take news I'm going to create an HTML versus JavaScript maybe I just call it advertise advertisement or you can leave it without a title if you don't want to show a title this the that code as the content then click save then this gadget I drag it down there then click save okay now click on view blog now we can see our native ad here so you can add as many as you want across the website so that's all for this tutorial if you are new here and you haven't subscribed yet i encourage you to do that right now if this video was insightful leave a like and share with a friend so that i can also benefit from it bye